The rookie M.O. Shirley was kidnapped by the senior and entered a nightmare-like dungeon world, surrounded by powerful enemies like wolves. The senior around him was watching closely, and M.O. Shirley cautiously searched for opportunities. When he seized that opportunity, he knew his chance to turn over has come. That year, M.O. Shirley lowered his head and shrugged his shoulders as he walked into Daxing City. That year, as soon as the person turned, the hand tilted, and the knife shook, the world was already in turmoil. Keywords of the novel Half Evil No Pop-Ups, Half Evil TXT Complete Collection Download, Half Evil Latest Chapter Reading Chapter 1 Preface You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Preface Sister, where are you going? Go find a way to bring your parents back. But When a person dies, they can be resurrected. As long as Find that miraculous place. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Fish in the Net You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Fish in the Net After the Yuan Shao, filled round balls made of glutinous rice. Flour for Lantern Festival, the north wind disappears and the rivers thaw. All the shops in Daxing City, Shindu have opened their doors, and the streets crisscross north and south but are neat and uniform. Pedestrians walk on the stone-paved road, and the sound of footsteps is continuous and continuous. Outside the Spring Revival Hall, M.O. Shirley, with a delicate face and a slightly thin figure, was wrapped in a sheepskin jacket and wearing a rabbit skin hat. He was holding his shoulders and leaning half against the wall. Under the warm sunshine, M.O. Shirley squinted his eyes seemingly comfortably, but in reality, his muscles were tense all over his body, and his heart was full of tension. He listened attentively to the conversation between his uncle and the owner of the Spring Festival Hall. Centennial Ginseng Exactly. Come, enter the inner hall, serve tea quickly, serve the tea well. The voice of the boss of the Spring Festival Hall suddenly rose, but quickly fell. That tone of surprise and fear has been heard by M.O. Shirley for the seventh time in the past half month. Every two or three days, such a performance is performed in a medical clinic, a pharmacy, or at their place of residence. The conversation content, M.O. Shirley, can even recite it fluently. But even so, M.O. Shirley still dare not slack off and strives not to miss any word. Because it concerns his little life. He is not from this world. He came here as a player. In the Spring Festival Hall, that uncle is naturally the same. The so dot called uncle nephew relationship between the two is naturally false. The true relationship between the two is that rookie is forced by senior to sign a cooperation contract that uncle is an experienced person. He, M.O. Shirley, is a rookie. A rookie who has just completed the rookie trial and entered the giant city in search of her sister. Sigh. M.O. Shirley let out a sigh full of unwillingness in his heart. In that rookie trial, he gained quite a lot. This made him think that his luck was turning, and it also gave him confidence in finding his sister and even resurrecting his parents in the future. But then came a sudden blow that caught him off guard. In order to find his sister faster and better face the dungeon world that followed, he began selling the proceeds of the rookie trial, and then he was targeted. M.O. Shirley thinks he is not a reckless person, and he is even more careful when selling. He divides his things into several blocks to sell, and each time he dresses up. But who would have thought that the boss behind those few blocks was actually a person? What's even more unexpected is that after the other party targeted him, they didn't hesitate and directly took action to force him into a desperate situation. Either die. Either sign a contract. M.O. Shirley didn't want to die, so he signed the contract. According to the contract requirements, he handed over the points, skill points, and all the equipment and props he had just obtained, just like those rookies who had been targeted by the other party before. But unlike those rookies, M.O. Shirley doesn't believe in the so-dot-called cooperation contract at all. 
According to the agreement, he and the other party enter the current dungeon world and pass through smoothly. After turning in all the gains, he can obtain a free body, and the other party will never take the initiative to attack him for three years. Leaving aside the extent to which the contract has been successfully passed, it can be considered smooth. Simply relying on the power controlled by the other party within the huge city is enough to make it easy for them to eliminate him without needing to act on their own. You know, he's just a rookie. Is there a difference between getting a bullet in the head and being stabbed in the heart with a knife? They are all deadly. So, he must save himself. Leaning against the wall, Mo surely pondered once again, his eyes unable to resist looking at the words that only he could see, background. A dynasty established by special means will inevitably have disasters. Under various mysterious rumors, ambitious individuals are peering at that throne, and those who have lost everything are like wounded beasts hiding in the dark. The emperor who ascends to the treasure will never give up everything he has now. The market, temples, and rivers and lakes are flowing with dark currents, and the weak should not have come here. Main task. Survival for three days, complete, obtain temporary language, automatically disappear when leaving the dungeon, clothes, backpacks, weapons, and item attributes remain unchanged, but appearance temporarily changes. When leaving the dungeon, it will automatically recover. Tip 1. The main task has been completed, stay in team mode, and an additional 100 points need to be paid per day. According to the contract, it will be paid by the captain, Xiao, tip 2. Firearms and explosives beyond the era will reduce their power and be displayed in a reasonable way, tip 3. If you are too weak, the trigger rate of side quests will increase, and the reward for quests will increase, tip 4. Do not disclose any illegal information to indigenous people, otherwise it will be erased, sigh. M.O. Shirley's gaze scanned the text in front of him back and forth. Finally, after staying on, tip 4, for a long time, there was a sigh in his heart, and more unwillingness and struggle appeared in his eyes. That experienced person is not a generous person. Effort and income must be directly proportional. The opponent who spends an additional 100 points per day will inevitably plan to earn a hundred or a thousand times their income. And his role. Nature is to make it easier and more convenient for the other party to obtain such income. Tip 3, it has already explained everything. Can the other party's greed is endless. At the next moment, the sound of footsteps in his ear pulled Mo Shirley's attention back. The two people in the nearby Spring Revival Hall walked out slowly. Talk about it. Talk about it again. Mr. Lee, who usually has his eyes above his head, spoke with a hint of request. But the middle dot aged guest remained unmoved and just arched and clenched his fists at Mr. Lee again. Please stay. Where are we staying? You know, if you've raised enough money, come find us and we'll stay until the second day of February. After finishing speaking, he handed the box in his hand to M.O. Shirley on the side and turned around to leave. M.O. Shirley nodded at Mr. Lee, but tightly held on to the box, as if afraid of being robbed. He looked very cautious but inexperienced as a country boy. Watching the two of them leave, Mr. Lee chased straight down the steps. This is already a bit reckless. But there's no way. Centennial ginseng is too rare. Besides hearing from his father, this is the first time Mr. Lee has met. That ginseng, with its entire beard and tail, is as white as jade. Although it does not transform into a human like the rumored millennium ginseng, just smelling it boosted his spirit. The lethargy caused by staying up late during the Chinese New Year a few days ago was instantly healed. Good thing. A real good thing. Boss Lee wants it. But the money is not enough. A hundred tails of gold. This is the price offered by the customer, without any bargaining. Raising his hand, he wanted to stop the two of them, but when he thought about the price of a hundred tails of gold, Mr. Lee didn't shout out his words. The Spring Revival Hall can be considered a famous pharmacy in Daxing City, 
but suddenly taking out a hundred tails of gold is still not enough. Reluctant, Mr. Lee looked at the distant figure of his uncle and nephew, his expression changing. In the end, he gritted his teeth and beckoned his assistant to set up a car, heading towards a place in his memory. Mauer Lane, small courtyard. The foothold of the dungeon world in front of M.O. Shirley and the senior. When there were no outsiders, both of them took off their disguise, and the atmosphere was no longer harmonious, becoming somewhat indifferent. It's just indifference. No anger. M.O. Shirley perfectly demonstrated his helplessness in the face of absolute strength. Looking at M.O. Shirley sitting in a chair without saying a word, the middle-aged man smiled and said. Don't be impatient, don't be ten miles away. It's almost over, it's about to end. Once it's over, according to the contract we signed, you are free M.O. Shirley sat there without a reply, while the middle-aged man smiled more confidently. What's wrong with this? Although you lost your income once you're still alive. The words of middle-aged people are somewhat casual, as if describing a fact. The magical, giant city, full of miracles, is not without loopholes. It has some ways to make the game easier. It's like I've completed 23 dungeon worlds, and you're just a rookie trial. When you team up with me, the difficulty will be evenly divided. This is a very effective method, and you can also try it when you return to the giant city in the future. Believe me, as long as you use it properly. Not only can you make a profit, but you can also gain a lot. Middle-aged people keep smiling. A hint of emotion appeared on M.O. Shirley's indifferent face. But in my heart, I don't believe a single word. It's not that the other party lied. On the contrary, the other party should be truthful in every sentence. After all, the other party has no reason to lie to a dead person. That's right. Dead. With the other party truthfully saying these words that they wouldn't normally say, M.O. Shirley was once again convinced that the other party would never let him live. In an instant, M.O. Shirley felt his heart tightly grasped by an invisible palm, making him powerless and suffocating. That palm is death. Like a substantial death. The power of death tightly gripped his heart, and the overflowing breath followed his breath, transforming into venomous snakes called despair, entwined around his neck. The cold snake eyes stared at him, and the letters he swallowed and the hissing sound made him feel as if he had heard his last moment of grief before swallowing. A stirring spirit, M.O. surely escaped from the illusion under the oppression of death. Rebellion. Rebellion. I don't want to die. M.O. Shirley kept shouting in his heart. Even though he is currently experiencing a deeper sense of powerlessness. M.O. Shirley, who has experienced the rookie trial, has experienced that kind of magic, and after also experiencing the rookie trial, how strong is the opponent who has accumulated 23 dungeon worlds? M.O. Shirley couldn't even imagine it. Moreover, the other party also discovered vulnerabilities. What should he do about this? Even though he has been thinking and searching for opportunities, the gap in strength and influence is too great. He can't find a single solution. Almost a dying situation. This situation really makes M.O. Shirley feel suffocated and hopeless. But, it's not completely impossible. M.O. Shirley, who had made a decision in his heart, Maintain the despair on his face. He wants to create a better situation for himself as much as possible. Xiao sat across from M.O. Shirley's expression, and the middle-aged senior smiled. He knows what M.O. Shirley is thinking. It's not that M.O. Shirley's acting skills are not outstanding enough. Just because he has seen too many rookies like this before. 20. Or 20.1. He couldn't remember clearly, he only remembered that every rookie like him was as patient as M.O. Shirley, searching for opportunities, and believing that he could turn defeat into victory. What about the outcome? They are all dead. Without exception, they all died under his layout. And he successfully increased the number of instances to 23. So, he is very tolerant of these rookies. Moreover, 
such rookies are also quite rare. He chooses his goals not just for any rookie, but for those who are lucky. How can it be considered lucky? Naturally, Dei Feng Shu, salad of assorted fresh vegetables, comes from rookie trials. It is not easy to get a Dei Feng Shu, salad of assorted fresh vegetables, in the rookie trial. Character, ability, and luck are indispensable. Only such rookies can have a greater chance of obtaining good things while averaging the difficulty of their dungeon world. Of course, there's also fun. One of his greatest joys now is appreciating the performances of these rookies who can dominate if they grow up. This is just so fun. In this world, there is nothing more joyful than suffocating an immature genius. Especially the unbelievable expressions of the rookies at the end, he would tremble with excitement as soon as he remembered them. He is eagerly anticipating it. It's fast. It's fast. This harvest will definitely not disappoint me. Xiao lowered his head, his slightly narrowed eyes filled with excitement and anticipation. If there is anything more to look forward to than the unbelievable despair of newbies, it is naturally every game. This time, it is no exception. In order to increase the chances of obtaining good things, he chose to carry heavy treasures and go through the bustling market. Including the recently visited Rejuvenation Hall, this is already the seventh pharmacy he has visited in half a month. He believes that some people can't bear it anymore and are about to take action. No matter who comes or which faction, it will be a bountiful harvest. In addition to the backers he arranged, such a bountiful harvest will be one after another. He will definitely gain far more than he imagined. At that time, it will be when he truly stands on the top of the huge city. Time passes through the excitement of the owl and the anxious struggle of M.O. Shirley. On that day, when the sky was getting dark and the head was slightly west, a figure appeared in Mauer Lane. Without walking through the alleyway, the other person's toes were connected, and they leaped through the house and tiles. With a quick turn in mid-air, they appeared directly outside the rented house of M.O. Shirley and Xiao, agile as a flying swallow. And, the purpose is clear. Obviously, the other party has already investigated everything thoroughly. Dong, dong. I was introduced by Boss Lee. After the other party knocked on the door, they said. Squeak. The door has opened. Xiao opened the door. Someone looked at the owl in front of them and Mo Shirley inside the house. A middle-aged man with a short stature and a dark face is the uncle among the two guests. The other one, with a delicate face, is fifteen or sixteen years old, with a thin figure, probably the nephew. Got it. That's it. Thinking from the bottom of my heart, the visitor's gaze turned towards the inside of the house. The rabbit skin hat was thrown on the hot kong, the sheepskin jacket was covered on the quilt, and a pitch black box was placed at the head of the bed. At the moment of seeing the box, the person's eyes lit up and they said directly, Let's talk more inside. As they spoke, the visitor squeezed into the room, closed the door with their hands raised, and turned around to slap Xiao. This palm was light and fluttering, like willow catkins in the wind, but it carried a pressing aura. A strong and extremely bloody smell followed the palm wind, and the visitor's eyes turned crimson. The people shrouded in it are like experiencing a bloody storm. Xiao stood in place, as if scared out of his wits. Hey, with something you shouldn't have, you deserve to die here. After the person finished speaking, their palm firmly imprinted on the chest of the owl. Puff. The single clothes on Zhao's body immediately turned into threads, and the flesh and blood on his chest were rapidly corroded. At the same time, the bones and internal organs inside his body were also corroded. The newcomer is quite confident in their own, bloodthirsty palm. As long as you hit him with a palm, even if the immortal comes, it will be difficult to save. So, he looked towards M.O. Shirley. Therefore, he did not see the metal body exposed by the corroded flesh of the owl, nor did he see the owl lifting its right hand and silently striking it. Bang! 
the unsuspecting guest was hit by the owl on the spinal dragon. With a crisp sound, before anyone could scream out loud, the chin was dislodged by the owl. Subsequently, the limbs were also twisted. Humph, do you know how expensive my artificial flesh and blood are? I hope you don't disappoint me, otherwise I will make you regret why you want to live. Go, get rid of him. Losing his flesh and blood, the owl looked completely like a robot, with his bare semi-electronic eyes, at M.O. Shirley, filled with cold killing intent and scorching greed. The ultimate goal is to maximize profits by having a rookie complete the final blow. Even though his attacks account for an absolute proportion, the difference between the two is enough to make up for everything, and can even be far exceeded. M.O. Shirley pulled out a dagger from his waist and walked towards this unwelcome guest. Watching the terror on the other person's face and the deep confusion in their eyes due to the accident, M.O. Shirley clenched the dagger tightly. He knew that the indigenous people in front of him were what the owl wanted. He will take action to kill the other party, and the owl will achieve the expected harvest. Next, it's time to leave. Once the owl decides to leave, it will be his death date. Even if I won't leave this time. Next time I get a satisfactory harvest, I will also leave. At that time, he will still be unable to escape death. Who? M.O. Shirley took a deep breath. He doesn't want to die. If possible, he hopes to survive. But the problem is, owl absolutely does not allow him to live. Since that's the case then die together. M.O. Shirley's gaze once again glanced at, tip 4, and at this moment, the powerlessness and helplessness he had accumulated for many days turned into angry firewood, burning fiercely. His eyes were filled with madness. He strode towards the unwelcome guest, and the dagger in his hand plunged fiercely into their chest. Puff. The uninvited guest's eyes immediately widened, but the person whose heart was pierced did not breathe out immediately. At this moment, M.O. Shirley suddenly spoke up and said, Do you know about, huge cities? We come from there. Ding. Amidst the crisp sound, a series of words appeared before M.O. Shirley and Xiao at the same time. Violating player rules, player M.O. Shirley is about to be wiped out. Violating player rules, as the captain, Player, Owl, begins to determine serious injuries. In process of judgment. Player, Xiao, is a transformed person, and the judgment result is. Player, Xiao has a 50% decrease in energy and a 50% damage to the body. Looking at the information in front of him, M.O. surely smiled. He let go of the dagger, flipped over and lay down, watching the, Owl, smoking and flashing with electric sparks all over his body. How dare you reveal information about the huge city to the indigenous people? How dare you? How dare you? The sudden change in front of him made Xiao exclaim. He never thought that Emo surely really didn't want to die. This was something he had never encountered before. You should know, even in the end, the rookies in the past were lucky enough to hold on to the hope of survival. Almost instinctively, this senior person lifted his entire right arm and opened his right hand, creating a circular hole in his palm. As for speaking out words that violate the player's rules in person. Xiao doesn't care at all. Even if it would make him die. With a 50% decrease in energy and 50% damage to the body, he has no way to cope with the crisis in the next, dungeon world. You should know that his layout is not just about this. His plan is very ambitious, according to the plan, it will be an unprecedented harvest. But now it has become a deadly crisis. Instead of falling into the hands of those indigenous peoples. It's better to end it on your own. Of course, more importantly, he has a backhand in the huge city. His memory is stored somewhere in the giant city, dormant in the form of digital life to avoid the contractual power of the city. When his body dies, digital life will be activated and downloaded back into a new body, allowing him to be resurrected. Why does he want to transform himself? For this kind of time. 
However, this approach also consumes a huge amount of energy. Whether it's avoiding the contractual power of the huge city or the new body, his accumulation will be exhausted. Especially for the former, that kind of abnormality will make him highly likely to be targeted by a huge city. Xiao knows this very well. So, he became even more angry. He wants to vent his anger. Kill Mo Shirley. We must take down Mo Shirley. Kill this bold and reckless rookie who tricked him. Buzz. The hole in his palm began to charge, and the blue light shone on Mo Shirley's unbridled smiling face. Enjoy. Since being signed the contract, M.O. Shirley has never felt so happy. Why laugh? Do you think you, who says huge city, can survive? Xiao once again violated the player rules. This brought forward the time when he was wiped out again. And the owl, who had never experienced a similar situation before, mistakenly estimated the time, and even before the charging cannon could be released, his whole body turned into ashes, leaving only a storage ring falling to the ground. M.O. Shirley didn't even look at the storage ring, he just lay quietly there, waiting for his own death to come. But at this moment, warning. Warning. A huge city is being attacked by players a huge city is being attacked by players a huge city is being attacked by players the huge city is shattered, player M.O. Shirley and the contract with the huge city disappear. The extermination punishment disappears the attribute bar disappears the killing rules are shattered the rules of plunder are shattered the trading rules are broken, get rule broken. Extraction rule broken explore residual rules, reinforcement rule residue. Remaining achievement rules. Text seemed to emerge like a waterfall, and a lot of information flooded into M. O. Shirley's mind, leaving him stunned. Subsequently, text continued to emerge, achievements. Stranger from a foreign land, purple, fish in the net, gold, stranger. Being a stranger alone in a foreign land earns 500 points and 3 skill points, fish in the net. Under the brink of death, you escape like a fish in the net, earning 1000 points, 3 skill points, and 1 golden skill point. The words in front of him quickly brought M.O. Shirley back to his senses in a daze. He heard the noise coming from outside the house in his ears. Obviously, the previous fighting inside the house caught attention. Almost instinctively, M.O. Shirley raised his hand and picked up the storage ring of Xiao. Firmly grasped in hand. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Greed, Malicious You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Greed, Malicious At the moment when M.O. Shirley tightly grasped the ring, the words in front of him began to appear again, yes slash no, spend 500 points to obtain temporary access to the Chinkuan ring. Temporary. Yes. M.O. Shirley was surprised in his heart, but he didn't hesitate. The shouting outside the small courtyard had become increasingly noisy, and someone was about to come and inquire. He must clean up the scene before anyone comes in. Only a clean scene can allow him to freely play. And at this time, what is more suitable than a storage ring? M.O. Shirley can be certain that the Chienkuen ring in his hand is a storage ring, not only because of its name, but also because he has seen Xiao use it before. The black box containing the so dot called century-old ginseng was taken out from here before. M.O. Shirley's inference is not wrong. However, some things still exceeded his expectations. Chienkuen ring. This is an extremely special ring, with the words Chienkuen ring contains Chienkuen, and the opening of the golden yuan is XX engraved on the inside of the ring. The last two words have been erased and cannot be explored, Xiao is not its creator, but its fifth owner, and you are its sixth owner, temporary, to fully possess it, you must open all nine layers of space inside it. When you obtain temporary usage rights, you have already obtained the usage rights of the first five space grids, note. Each time an item is retrieved or stored in a space grid, it will consume one point. With the appearance of the text in front of him, 
Mo Shirley was able to see the things in the first five squares of the Qianquan ring in a way similar to those that only he could see. They are Blood Tonifying Medication X100, Excellent, Qi Tonifying Medication X100, Excellent, Detoxifying Medication X100, Excellent, Endurance Medication X100, Excellent, and Empty. The medicine is packed in a small conical glass bottle, presenting four colors. Red, blue, green, and white. All medications are stacked in groups of 100. Excellent is the rating of a huge city, below this rating are ordinary and garbage, above this rating are boutique and rare. No matter how high the rating is, I have never seen it in 10 miles. What level is the Qianquan ring dot? Why is there no annotation? And this kind of thing requires points every time it's used. Do you really want money? M.O. Shirley commented, his gaze fixed on the empty space grid. That's exactly what he needs. Without hesitation, the dagger in M.O. Shirley's hand brushed over the neck of the attacker on the ground. The attacker, who was about to die, immediately lost his breath. After wiping the bloodstains on the dagger onto the opponent's collar, M.O. Shirley quickly collected the opponent's body into the Qinkuan ring. With the integration of point one, the corpses on the ground disappear. M.O. Shirley quickly pushed open the window and kicked away the ashes on the ground. After finishing these things, M.O. Shirley lay down on the ground and took the opportunity to take another look at the second level activation condition of the Qinkuan ring, which also consumed points, doubling the previous amount to 1,000 points. He currently has 999 points, which is one point away from being able to open. You really want money. The feeling of being only one point away is naturally extremely uncomfortable. M.O. Shirley couldn't help but feel a grudge in his heart, but it didn't stop him from hiding the Qianquan ring in his arms. But just as he raised his hand, M.O. Shirley was just scolded. Not suitable. In the current situation, killing and silencing is the best choice. It doesn't make sense that he's still alive. There will inevitably be routine questioning, body searches looking at the appearance of the Qianquan ring, again, although it looks dull and unremarkable, it's hard to guarantee it's just in case. Thinking of this, M.O. Shirley opened his mouth and swallowed the Qianquan ring into his stomach. Then, he gritted his teeth again. He drew out the clean dagger and turned his wrist upside down to stab himself. Puff. The dagger penetrated deeply, and blood instantly overflowed. Since it's unreasonable for him to live, then he makes everything reasonable. He was not silenced. But rather, he narrowly escaped his life. Meanwhile, bang. The sturdy latch was kicked open with a foot, and the door opened directly. As one walked in constable. Soap clothes, iron rulers, and fast boots. All of these were informing M.O. Shirley of the other party's identity, but at the moment he saw the constable, M.O. Shirley was taken aback. In his imagination, the neighbors around the small courtyard would be the first to hear his movements. The constable should appear after reporting to the authorities. Why did it appear so quickly? The unexpected incident did not make M.O. Shirley lose his composure. He shouted directly according to his imagined words. Save my uncle. Someone snatching ginseng. Covering his lower abdomen wound, M.O. Shirley's voice was panicked and his tone was full of pleading. But the constable didn't pay much attention to M.O. Shirley. He just glanced and then turned his gaze to the pitch black box placed by the bedside. The greed and ferocity that appeared in the eyes of the constable. There was no movement in the footsteps. The palm that clenched the iron ruler made M.O. Shirley's heart tremble even more. The other party also came for a hundred years of ginseng. Moreover, if the other party appears so quickly, they might be the accomplice of the previous unwelcome guest. Subconsciously, M.O. Shirley's face was still pleading, but his palm quietly touched the dagger inserted into his body, while secretly moaning in his heart. The opponent is tall and has strong arms. The kick that kicked the door proves that the opponent has the strength that matches their body shape, 
and they also have an iron ruler in their hand. Under normal circumstances, the chances of winning against them are less than 30%. Not to mention, he even stabbed himself in order to make everything look reasonable. Immediately, this chance of winning was completely gone. But if there is a sudden attack, there is also a possibility of turning defeat into victory. With the blood tonifying medicine in the Chenkuan ring, M.O. Shirley doesn't mind exchanging injuries for injuries, or even exchanging injuries for death. In this way, the chances of winning increase by at least 30% you can put it all together. Don't grit your teeth 10 miles away, you'll have to work hard again. M.O. Shirley, who had just narrowly escaped death and regained his life, cherished his own little life more than ever before. But the previous experience also taught Mo Shirley that if he wants to survive, he must work hard and cannot sit idly by. Put it all together, there's still a chance of survival. If you don't fight, then you're doomed. And just as M.O. Shirley was about to lure the other party closer and start fighting, suddenly there were footsteps in the courtyard. Cluttering footsteps obviously, there is more than one person. Under M.O. Shirley's gaze, a man dressed in cloth, with a slight hunchback, a thin face, a goatee, drooping eyes and white temples, walked in with hands behind his back. Behind the opponent, seven or eight constables also entered the courtyard and sealed off the surroundings. As the other party walked in, the constable in the room immediately restrained his gaze, turned around respectfully, bent down, arched his hands, and clasped his fists. Sir, we haven't found any thieves. Hmm. The man nodded, glanced at the open window, and casually picked up the pitch black box. The box opened and was already empty inside. But the rich ginseng flavor overflowed throughout the house. Good ginseng. The man exclaimed, then his gaze turned to M.O. Shirley. The man had a smile on his face, a kind expression, and a friendly gaze, much better than the greedy and ferocious constable he had just shown. However, facing such a man, M.O. Shirley became even more vigilant in his heart. A jackal with exposed fangs is not scary. The venomous snake hiding in the bushes is deadly. But the scariest thing is smiling tiger. The man in front of M.O. Shirley feels like a smiling tiger. M.O. Shirley became even more cautious, and the man asked kindly. Can you tell me what happened, little brother? Help my uncle. M.O. Shirley didn't answer immediately, his face still full of anxiety, and his voice showed a hint of helplessness due to his high pitch. Can't answer directly. At this point, answering directly seems too deliberate. How could a young man who had just lost his dependent uncle calmly recount what had just happened? Of course, it's not absolute either. There are also those who are naturally calm. But M. O. Shirley's usual appearance is not like this. He, M. O. Shirley, is a rural youth. Now, my heart is burning with anxiety. Little brother, calm down. It's okay, I'll help you find your uncle. Someone came to comfort in a low voice. After a series of comforts and feelings of relief, M. O. Shirley's emotions gradually calmed down. He sat there, as if reminiscing, and after a moment, his breathing began to become rapid. At that moment, he spoke up. Just now someone knocked on the door, saying that Mr. Lee, the owner of the Spring Festival Hall, introduced him to Bai Jinseng. After entering the door, he directly attacked. The thief was very powerful, and I stabbed him with a dagger, but I didn't know how to stab him. The thief's eyes were crimson, and when he raised his hand, there was a nauseating smell of blood. Uncle couldn't even catch it, so he was captured. Then, the thief directly took out the ginseng from our box, put it in a jade box, and carried my uncle through the window. M.O. Shirley is telling a story that has just been fabricated. Especially the situation when the attacker waved his palm, it was particularly emphasized in the description. Compared to other lies, this is the truth. That's also the key to attracting the man in front of you. Sure enough, the next moment, scarlet eyes. Stinky palms. Bloody shah palm. Someone, go to the spring revival hall. 
The man frowned, his eyes filled with contemplation, and then said to the constable beside him. Find a doctor and take good care of your little brother. Let people draw shadow shapes, after speaking, the man turned around and walked outward. The constable accepted the order and instructed his subordinates to guard outside the door. He also walked outside, and it was not until then that M.O. surely learned from the other constable's names of this constable that the other constable was the leader of these constables. And this is not good news for M.O. Shirley. The constable looked at him with a look that M.O. Shirley was quite familiar with. When Xiao had looked at him before, he would occasionally show such a look. Even if this constable is not in the same group as the attacker just now, at least there is some connection. Looking at the other person's back, M.O. Shirley secretly guessed from the bottom of his heart, and the words appeared in front of him, achievements obtained. Self-harm, white, deception, green, self-harm. Your hobbies are worrying, pay attention to your physical and mental health, and earn one point, bluff. You successfully bluff two people who are wary and malicious towards you, earning 10 points, 11 points integral. Plus the original 999 points, it's enough to activate the second level of the Chinkuan ring. A glimmer of joy flashed in M.O. Shirley's eyes. At this very moment, the departing constable returned with a doctor. The other party walked slowly into the courtyard and stood on the side of the doctor. The shadows intertwined on the other person's face, and their eyes became even hotter. At this moment, greed and malice are even stronger. P.S. File on New Book Everyone Support During the New Book period, there is one chapter the day before signing, and two chapters a day after signing. After it is listed, it will start to explode once again, please support me, end of this chapter. Chapter 4 Fist Strength You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Fist Strength M.O. Shirley lowered his head and allowed the doctor to examine the wound, seemingly not noticing the greed and malice in the eyes of the constable. But in the dark, he was prepared to launch a counterattack at any time, and in his heart, he had a more accurate analysis of the situation before him. M.O. Shirley knew that even with the previous hunchbacked middle-aged man's intimidation, this constable was likely to launch a counterattack on him. The greed and malice in the other person's gaze are too obvious. The other party's greed should stem from the joy that the collaborator has gained great profits and is about to get a share of the pie. That cup of soup must be a great benefit. Otherwise, the other party won't be able to suppress their expression. As for malice. It's even simpler. If you want to get a share of the pie, then do what you should do. That's also why the other party appeared here from the beginning, clean your hands and tails. Why did the other party appear so early? To prevent accidents. At this moment, it's time for the other party to demonstrate their effectiveness. Wealth and silk move people's hearts. The other party is taking risks. After all, from the other person's perspective, the attacker who kidnapped his uncle has already escaped. With such a premise, the other party can completely say that the attacker who kidnapped his uncle has returned and killed him, the lucky escape guy. As long as the arrangement is appropriate, such rhetoric will be flawless. Facing this once.in.a.lifetime opportunity, the other party can't help but feel strange. M.O. Shirley's gaze gradually became cold as he lowered his head. The other party clearly has no intention of letting him go. He naturally won't let the other party go. However, just as the other party is still enduring and seeking better opportunities, he is also enduring. Still waiting for the opportunity. After all, he has something extra to be wary of. With the death of Owl and the shattering of the huge city contract, he is temporarily considered free, but such freedom does not represent safety. The dungeon world in front of him is still full of crisis, and a slight mistake is death. Especially after, Xiao, created the so dot called, century-old ginseng, I don't know how many people are still staring at him. Therefore, he must firmly grasp the identity of the, the victim. Only in this way can he obtain safety. 
Mo Shirley had already planned that he would reluctantly return to Liaodong after waiting for his uncle to succeed. Moreover, due to the disaster caused by the century-old ginseng, he would no longer collect ginseng and start a new life. It was only the incident of his uncle being kidnapped that had been a thorn in his heart. Therefore, he would practice martial arts diligently and come to Daxing City to investigate his uncle's whereabouts after completing his studies. Everything is reasonable and reasonable. Therefore, if he wants to take action, he must be more cautious. It must be reasonable and well-founded. At the very least, it's a last resort. Of course, the best scenario is to avoid everyone's sight. Thinking of this, when M.O. Shirley touched the dagger in the doctor's room, his whole body trembled with pain, and his body trembled with fear. This scene made the constable standing on one side disdainful, and the malice in his heart grew even stronger. Hold on. As the doctor spoke, he forcefully pulled out the dagger. This kind of extraction is quite skillful. Not only extremely fast, but also without expanding the wound. The next moment, the top dot quality aphrodisiac was applied to the wound, stopping the bleeding. Even though the doctor's skills were excellent and his speed was extremely fast, M.O. Shirley still pretended to be in pain, and in order to be realistic, he was so painful that he let out his breath. Afterwards, there was a big gasp for breath. Half true and half false. It hurts, it really hurts a bit. Acting, that's also real acting. After applying the medicine, M.O. Shirley lay in bed with a collapsed appearance. I'm lucky. Although the wound is quite deep, it hasn't hurt any organs. As long as I lie in bed and rest for a month, and take two pairs of qi and blood tonifying medicine, it won't be a big deal. The doctor said softly. M.O. Shirley looked as if he couldn't make a sound due to pain, and could only nod slightly to indicate that he knew. Take a good rest, don't get wet, don't move around. The doctor gave two more instructions, then packed the medicine box and stood up to leave. Until then, the constable who had been standing there, staring at M.O. Shirley's heart with strong malice, started to move, followed the doctor, walked out, and casually closed the door. But M.O. Shirley was still inside the house and could vaguely hear the constable asking the doctor about his injuries. Immediately, a cold smile appeared in my heart. The other party has taken the bait. The other party seems to be following the rules, but in reality, they are inquiring about the truth. The other party is too impatient. I wish I could immediately investigate everything related to him. But for him, it's not a bad thing. The more anxious the other party is, the more advantageous it is for them. As long as people are in a hurry, they will make mistakes in their busy schedules and expose loopholes. However, M.O. Shirley will not always rely on the other party's mistakes to ultimately achieve victory. People must rely on themselves. M.O. Shirley deeply understands this truth. So, don't buckle your throat for ten miles. Nausea. Mixed with some vomit, the Chienkuen Ring appeared in front of M.O. Shir. No hesitation, Chienkuen Ring, open the second line. After subtracting 1,000 points, the second line of the Chienkuen Ring is fully displayed in front of M.O. Shirley. Fist Power, Premium, Iron Cloth Shirt, Premium, Gecko Wall Skill, Premium, Empty, Empty. Out of the five space grids, two are empty, one more than the empty space grid in the first row. However, three high dot quality martial arts skills are enough to make up for everything. Looking at the secrets in the three space grids, M.O. Shirley's eyes flickered with a faint light. In his original plan, he relied on the existence of blood tonics to exchange injuries for life. And now. It seems that it can be a bit simpler. With the connection of previous information, M.O. Shirley is very clear that he can quickly learn three martial arts skills. Fist power, iron cloth shirt, and gecko wall skill with just a skill point. Now he has six regular skill points and one golden skill point. The golden skill point can turn impossible into possible. Allowing the owner to learn skills even if they do not meet the conditions, and also break through the limits of existing skills. 
Now, naturally, it is not necessary. Normal skill points are sufficient. High quality martial arts require only two ordinary skills for the first time of learning, and he can fully learn them all to reach an entry dot level level. Alternatively, choose one and elevate it to a higher level. As for how to choose, M.O. surely has his own decision based on the current situation. Instead of appearing to be fully developed, it's better to have a higher attack first, and launch a surprise attack without the opponent's defense, achieving a deadly effect. The rest. Temporarily relying on medication to make up for it. Outside, the voices of the constable and the doctor gradually faded away. Quickly, the sound of footsteps echoed again. It's a constable. The constable who just left, go back and forth. Without any words, the constable guarding the door left. M.O. surely even imagined in his mind the appearance of the constable guarding the door quickly leaving after the other party waved their hand lightly. The constable guarding the door is undoubtedly the confidant of the other party. Between a stranger and his immediate superior, this confidant naturally has a choice. Even if such a choice would cause the stranger to die, it would be the same. Who? M.O. surely took a slight breath and had no more resentment towards the departing constable. Just a stranger. Of course, oneself is more important. M.O. surely understood the thoughts of the gatekeeper quite well, just as he understood that the catcher was eager due to greed in his heart. You should know that at this moment, not only did he have his words, but he was also extremely weak. Who would give up such an opportunity? That constable doesn't know. Not even ten miles away. This is an opportunity that he has put in a lot of effort to create. M.O. Shirley, with his mouth curled up, no longer hesitated. He took out a portion of blood tonifying medicine from the Tchenkuan ring and immediately drank it. After retrieving the empty bottle from the Tchenkuan ring, he used his fist strength to choose to learn. Blood tonifying medicine, it flows down the throat and turns into warm currents, adhering to the wound. Under the golden ulcer medicine, the wound that was already hemostatic began to heal rapidly. M.O. surely doesn't have the time to pay attention to these things. He stared tightly at the text in front of him, consumed two skill points, learn martial arts fist power, fist power, beginner. Mobilize the muscles of the whole body, use muscles and bones as the fulcrum, and after adjusting the breath, you can strike a fist full of explosive power. Most martial artists need ten years to reach this level. Click, click. With the introduction of fist power, some information appeared in M.O. Shirley's brain. At the same time, M.O. Shirley felt his muscles and bones itch all over his body, moving slightly, with dense and subtle sounds, and an extra muscle appeared on his thin body. But, not enough. Not fast enough. Not tough enough. Adjusting one's breath has time, and too many changes can occur. Unable to kill with one blow. Thinking of this, M.O. Shirley continued to shout from the bottom of his heart. Add more. Add more. Consume four skill points, fist power promotes proficiency, fist strength, proficient. The muscles and bones become stronger and more powerful, giving your body a deeper memory and great experience in controlling the burst of muscle power. With just a deep breath, you can unleash a punch filled with explosive power. Among most martial artists, those who have been gifted by heaven need twenty years to reach this level. A more crispy and itchy feeling spread throughout, and the dense and subtle sound was like stir-fried beans. M.O. Shirley pulled the cotton quilt and covered himself, covering the sound. After two breaths, the sound disappeared. M.O. Shirley felt his whole body full of strength, as if a punch could break a wooden stake. Meanwhile, squeak. The door opened and the constable walked in. Watching M.O. Shirley, who seemed to be asleep under the blanket, the constable walked over with a fierce expression on his face. Instead of using an iron ruler, he pulled out a narrow-edged dagger from his boot. The constable did not hesitate at all. This is not the first time he has done such a thing. He had already figured out what excuses to use to evade. 
Before, I didn't feel good after a hundred trials. This time no exception. Thinking to himself, the constable lifted the blanket and prepared to end M.O. Shirley with a dagger. But just as the blanket was lifted away, a fist was already imprinted on his chest. Bang! P.S. Second update file on seeking support seeking follow-up seeking recommendation, end of this chapter. Chapter 5 Is Just a Stranger You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 5 Is Just a Stranger Bang! The spine of M.O. Shirley's dragon trembled, and the muscles in his back jumped with it. His body's strength converged like twisted hemp rope, forming this flawless and solid punch. The beating caused the malicious constable's body to tilt forward in an exaggerated manner, and a series of bone-shattering sounds echoed inside his body. The opponent's spine was shattered countless times, and a large lump bulged up on their back. The overwhelming force instantly stirred up the bones and internal organs in their chest. Ah! Uh. The catcher's eyes were bulging and almost detached from their sockets. He stared blankly at Emo Shirley, as if about to say something. But in the end, without saying anything, he flipped over and fell to the ground. On his face, disbelief condenses on it. He couldn't figure out why a boy from a remote village could punch such a punch. This doesn't match the information he received from his collaborators. Moreover, just now the doctor also said that this rural boy is seriously injured and has no mobility at all. What's going on? This constable is puzzled from the bottom of his heart until he dies. M.O. surely didn't stop, he raised his hand and collected the opponent's body into the Chienkuan ring, stacking it together with the body of the previous attacker. Someone once said. Killing is not difficult, but the difficulty lies in not being found with a body. With the Chinkuan ring, all of this became easy for M.O. Shirley. After M.O. Shirley checked everything around and found no omissions, he picked up his own dagger again, carefully removed the golden wound medicine from the wound, aimed it at the original location of the wound, and gave himself another blow. Next, remove the golden wound healing medicine, cover the wound, and block the overflowing blood. Finally, he wiped the dagger and swallowed the Chinkuan ring into his stomach. Compared to the fierce constable. That hunchbacked middle-aged person is frightening. So, we must put in a lot of effort and strive to avoid any loopholes. He, M.O. Shirley, was seriously injured and had difficulty moving. Therefore, no matter what happens, it has nothing to do with him. I was completely unaware of the sudden disappearance of the constable, but in my sleep, I seem to hear a sudden but abrupt, you, sound. As for what exactly happened? He really didn't know. Perhaps the culprit who held his uncle hostage has gone back and forth. But why didn't you kill him and take away the constable? He doesn't know about this anymore. Sir, you have a wide range of knowledge. You don't need me to say too much, you must have an answer, right? Thinking about some words and possible situations in his heart, M.O. Shirley secretly simulated several times and checked the room again. After confirming everything was correct, he finally lay back in bed. In front of him, only the words he could see appeared again, achievements. Critical strike, green, deadly strike. Kills the opponent in a devastating way and earns 10 points, without achieving self-harm, it should obviously be a one-dot time achievement. This disappointed M.O. Shirley, who wanted to take advantage of the situation. However, after seeing the achievement of, one strike deadly, he instinctively flipped through the previous achievements. The contract information remaining in the huge city is severely damaged, so the language is unclear and unclear, but M.O. Shirley is not a fool. The consecutive achievements have already made him clear on the methods for obtaining, achievements. Get into trouble. Moreover, the more dangerous it is, the easier it is to obtain, achievements, and the corresponding level of, achievements, obtained is also higher. That is to say, as long as he keeps causing trouble and doesn't die, he can achieve more and more accomplishments. But where can one stand by the river without getting their shoes wet? If there's only one contingency, then it's really dead. 
But now, facing the mess created by the Owl, he needs to constantly obtain achievements, earn more points to unlock the Tchenkuan Ring, acquire more skill points to learn and improve his strength for self.protection, and it is impossible for him to stop. It's almost a dead cycle. M.O. surely muttered to himself from the bottom of his heart. But he didn't frown. On the contrary, he has a smile on the corner of his mouth. The meaning of almost is that there is still a glimmer of vitality. As long as he seizes this glimmer of vitality, he can survive. And this is already much better than his previous desperate situation. Having gone through the half month of being bound by contracts, stared at by howls, with no way out of heaven or earth, and in the eyes of others, the situation was already distressing and at a loss, but for M.O. surely, it was comfortable and comfortable. Even before refining his speech, he had some leisure time to scan the remaining sixteen points and recall the items in the first two lines of the Chienkuan ring. The sun rises and the moon sets. All night long. The next morning, the hunchbacked middle-aged man returned. Dong, dong. The other party was very polite and raised their hand to knock on the door. Just squinting and taking a nap, M.O. Shirley, who dared not fall asleep, instantly opened his eyes. Enter. M.O. Shirley's throat, which had not been in water for a long time, became hoarse, and the residual smell of blood in the room made M.O. Shirley, who was lying in bed, appear weak out of thin air. Little brother, lie down quickly. Where's Captain Wang? Why did he leave you alone inside the house? When the door was pushed open, M.O. Shirley gritted his teeth and stood up. The middle-aged man quickly walked over to signal M.O. Shirley to lie down. At the same time, frowns furrowed and displeasure appeared on the face. Yesterday, after the departure of Constable Wang and Langzhong, I haven't seen Constable Wang again. Sir, have you found my uncle yet? M.O. Shirley looked eager and sat up, but his wound was torn again, leaving a faint bright red mark. There are some clues. But it's still a bit close to finding your uncle. As long as you wait patiently for a while longer, you will have confidence. The middle-aged man comforted M.O. Shirley and lay down, with a smile on his face throughout the process. He kept telling lies without blinking his eyes until he had finished speaking. He then calmly looked out the door, where the constable on duty yesterday stood. At the moment of encountering the middle-aged man's gaze, the constable's body trembled. What about drawing shadow shapes? Wang and his boss didn't bring a painter. The constable gritted his head and said. Go find the painter. The middle-aged man spoke like this, and the constable ran out like he had been granted amnesty. M.O. Shirley watched the anxious back of the other person without saying a word. He knew that the other party was doomed. The ghostly appearance in his heart was clearly visible to him lying here, and it was impossible for a middle-aged man not to notice. But M.O. Shirley didn't have any more feelings. Everyone needs to pay a price for their choices. After all just a stranger. When the middle-aged man turned around, a smile had reappeared on his face. Excuse me, young brother. Constable Wang also made a mistake in his busy schedule. The painter will come soon. The other party spoke words of comfort. M.O. Shirley's heart trembled once again. Even though he knew there was an internal problem, he could still talk to himself calmly here. The other party was even more difficult than he had imagined. Faced with such opponents, M.O. Shirley can only fulfill his duty as a nephew. Please make sure to rescue my uncle. Good the middle-aged man nodded with a smile on his face. During the period when the painter arrived, the middle-aged man kept chatting with M.O. Shirley. Fortunately, Xiao has a great plan and is not stingy with early investments. The ID card contains complete information, and when completing the information synchronization, M.O. Shirley has a deep understanding of his hometown and guest identity. Not easy. It's not easy to enter such a dense forest at a young age and have to endure until midnight to collect ginseng. Listening to M.O. Shirley's account of some secret things that only visitors knew, the middle-aged man sighed repeatedly and then stood up, 
gesturing for the waiting painter to enter the room, but he temporarily left. The constable also left together. M.O. surely didn't have any more pleasantries with the painter. Lay paper and grind ink. Under M.O. Shirley's narration, the painter waved his pen repeatedly, and the attacker's appearance gradually appeared on the paper. Looking at the portrait, M.O. Shirley's eyes were filled with surprise. The painter in front of me doesn't know its origin, and just relying on language description, he can paint a person seven or eight times similar, and even grasp a bit of the charm that the person is looking for. It's really amazing. M.O. Shirley praised in his heart, and at that moment, the middle-aged man who had just left returned. But the constable who left together did not return. A constable who had not seen him for ten miles replaced him, standing there with a solemn expression and without looking askance. The middle-aged man who entered the room saw a portrait placed on one side at a glance. The middle-aged man said in a very low voice. Is it him? P.S. Seeking support seeking follow. Up reading seeking recommendation. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Old City You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 6 Old City That voice was neither high nor low, and it happened to be heard by M.O. Shirley. M.O. Shirley felt a chill in his heart. You should know that the other party caught the line of Mr. Lee from the Spring Festival Hall yesterday and there must also be a drawing pattern, which means this is the second time the other party has seen a similar drawing pattern. Since it's the second time we've met, with the other party's mansion, it's impossible to be so surprised. But the other party is still like this, leaving only one possibility, the other party intentionally did it. It's meant to be heard by him. It's for him to see. This is to dig a pit for him. M.O. Shirley immediately realized it. Undoubtedly, the line of Mr. Lee from the Spring Festival Hall should have yielded nothing. Now, with the emergence of the ghostly line of Detective Wong, the other party feels passive and wants to seize the initiative. Coincidentally, his presence gave the other party a chance. A simple truth is that as an insider, Constable Wong had the opportunity to kill him and silence him yesterday, but why didn't he take action and instead chose to escape? There is only one answer. The accomplice stopped Constable Wang. Or more precisely, it was passed on to Constable Wang. The accomplice who stole his uncle sent a message to Constable Wang when he was about to take action, urging him to stop and leave quickly. As for why do you do this? Naturally, it is because living is more valuable than dying. For example, what deal did his uncle make with the other party? Far exceeding the transaction of a century old ginseng. And, this transaction must have his presence in order to continue. As for why didn't the attackers personally take action? Nature does not want to confront the official power directly. What the other party wants is to take him away without touching official power. Based on this premise, he naturally became the bait to catch the attacker. Coincidentally, this is what M.O. surely wants. He needs a relatively safe environment. So, when is bait the safest? Nature is before the fish bites the hook. What if the fish has already died? The bait will always be safe. Moreover, with fishermen around, flies and the like attracted by the bait will also be mercilessly killed. More importantly, this is a fact that the other party has come up with on their own, far better than the fabricated rhetoric. The thought in his mind suddenly turned, and M.O. surely immediately guessed what the middle-aged man in front of him wanted to do. If it's beneficial to oneself, he naturally won't point it out. Even on his face, there was an instant of anxiety and sincerity, and the voice of questioning was even more urgent. Sir, do you know the person who kidnapped my uncle? Get to know. The other party nodded and sighed with a hint of embarrassment behind them. If it were him, then the matter would be troublesome. If you could. Sigh. Don't mention it. The other person's face was full of embarrassment, and anyone who saw it was clear. But M.O. Shirley doesn't believe a single word. Even M.O. Shirley knew that the other party didn't even know the person in the portrait. But what is there to this? 
his goal has been achieved. Or in a more perfect way. Therefore, M.O. Shirley's performance became more genuine and sincere. Please make sure to tell me how to do it, sir. As long as you can save my uncle, don't hesitate to die ten miles away. M.O. Shirley struggled to sit up from the bed and was about to bow with his fists, but this action clearly caused another wound. M.O. Shirley snorted slightly, frowned, and his thin clothes were dyed red in large patches. What's going on, little brother? Lie down quickly. As. I will do my best. After the other party's words became ambiguous for a moment, they once again became righteous and straightforward. Based on my understanding of that person, since the other party has taken action, they will definitely not let our little brother go. When they know that our little brother is lucky enough not to die, they will definitely take action again, and that will be our opportunity. Of course, there will definitely be danger involved. However, we will do everything in his power to protect the little brother. Are you willing, little brother? As the other party spoke, they stared at M.O. Shirley. Willing. M.O. Shirley immediately nodded without any hesitation. This kind of pleasure made the other person nod slightly and smile even more. That little brother, take a break first. Don't worry about anything else, we will arrange it properly. After speaking, the other person turned around and left. The door creaked shut. Listening to the distant footsteps, M.O. Shirley breathed a long sigh of relief in his heart. Finally managed to get through it. Meanwhile, another achievement has emerged, acting skills. Your performance is quite good, with some foundation, burning ten points, just performing achieved the same level of achievement as killing Captain Wang, with the opponent's strength and identity much higher than expected. Especially with that identity, the other party is intentionally concealing it. Sweeping through new achievements, don't ponder from the bottom of your heart. He didn't forget the ambiguity of the other party just now. However, the more so, the safer it proves. As long as he gets through this period of time, he can be considered as a bird soaring in the sky and a fish leaping in the sea. And in the following half month, M.O. Shirley lived a life of clothing and food. Three meals a day are served without saying anything. That meal was also served in a different way. Even the tenant of this small courtyard has been extended for another two months. There are countless bodyguards secretly protecting around. It was not until he was able to walk normally that he received a message from the middle-aged man, This morning, I went to the old city of Chang'an Yaman to report the Chang'an order. It was obvious that the middle-aged man was creating an opportunity for the attacker. According to common sense, over half a month is enough to exhaust the attacker's patience. Unfortunately the other party didn't know, but the attacker had already died. And he also sees each other every day. This time, the middle-aged man's plan was destined to fall through. And he. You will have to escape the cage. At the thought of this, M.O. Shirley wished he could finish these tasks immediately, but in order to cover up his physical condition, he had to walk slowly. At the entrance of Mao Alley, a carriage was stopped for transportation. The driver has white temples and a face full of wind and frost. Everything was similar to other drivers, but M.O. Shirley could tell at a glance that the driver in front of him was a middle-aged man pretending. It's not that the other party's disguise is too bad. But M.O. Shirley left a deep impression on the other party. I have already firmly imprinted the other person in my heart. With a little comparison, it can be distinguished. At the same time, M.O. Shirley once again learned about the middle-aged man's importance to this action. It should be noted that apart from meeting him half a month ago, the other party has not appeared again. And now, the other party has appeared. After the constable who was hiding in the dark around withdrew for the most part, the other party appeared. It seems that the attacker is even more important to the other party than imagined. M.O. thought from the bottom of his heart. Then, he smiled heartily. Can what does this matter to him? He just walked through the motions. My father got in. Law, go to the old county government office in Chang'an. 
Mo surely said these words and climbed onto the carriage with some difficulty. In order to be more realistic, he quietly gave himself a dagger again this morning. Not deep. Just for the pain. Imitating actions that feel pain is ultimately not as real as actions that truly feel pain. All right, you're seated. The middle dot aged man in disguise quickly helped Mo Shirley, and when he was helping Mo Shirley's arm, he even pinched it with force, reminding Mo Shirley. Mo Shirley sat quietly in the carriage. Subsequently, the middle dot aged man put on a bamboo hat, shook his whip, and the carriage walked briskly. The old city of Chang'an is said to be an old city, but in reality, it is only 20 miles away from Daxing City. It is divided into north and south by the Dragon Head Plain, but it is interconnected and closely connected. Especially at this moment, in early spring, everything is reviving, and many people are going out for a spring outing. As a result, there is a constant stream of merchants, and the sound of vendors shouting and selling is constantly on the rise. Even there are those who perform acrobatics. The tamed little bear looked like a human, not only able to understand human language, but also able to recognize numbers. However, it was extremely clumsy, with a cute and silly appearance that made onlookers burst into laughter. With a carriage for transportation, M.O. Shirley lifted the curtains and peered at the bustling city in front of him. But soon, as they entered the old city of Chang'an, the neat streets became narrow and the ground was no longer level. The carriage passed by, and the bumps and gratitude increased. However, what made M.O. Shirley feel the most uncomfortable was the unpleasant smell. The combination of the pungent smell of plants and feces is truly unbearable. And passersby's clothing has changed from glamorous to simple. And the crazy woman was lying on the ground muttering to herself. Son, you're back. Mom will make food for you. Eat, eat, eat. The crazy woman held the rotten mud and reached out to the passersby, who were unable to avoid it. One person dodged, and the crazy woman turned to another person. That person also dodged repeatedly. But eventually someone who couldn't bear it lifted their hand and knocked off the mud in the hands of the insane woman. The crazy woman immediately started crying and shouting. Son, why don't you eat it? Are you still blaming the mother for not keeping an eye on you? It's not my mother's fault, it's all the fault of that wicked mouse. It's a wicked mouse. The sound gradually faded away, and M.O. Shirley could clearly see through the gaps in the curtains the appearance of the people around him who couldn't avoid when the crazy woman shouted, Evil Mouse. Only the acrobat who came from the street corner stood still, with a playful expression. The little bear in his hand was trying to struggle, but was bound by the iron chain. A few whips fell and it immediately fell silent. Evil Mouse M.O. Shirley frowned and instinctively looked towards the curtain in front. A curtain away is the middle dot aged man disguised as a coachman. Will the other party know anything? M.O. Shirley was completely a subconscious guess, but then shook his head. He will be able to leave safely soon. At that time, there will be plenty of good times waiting for him. What are you meddling in? It's just a stranger. The carriage continued to move forward and soon arrived at the entrance of Chang'an Yaman in the old city. With the help of a middle dot aged man, M.O. Shirley slowly got off the carriage and walked forward. But just as he was about to step into the Yaman gate, he couldn't help but turn back and look behind him. Suddenly, the pupils contracted. The crazy woman is still crazy. The juggler is pulling the little bear and preparing to leave. The key is that little bear. M.O. Shirley could see clearly that beneath the bear skin that had been torn apart by the whip, a small delicate piece of skin with bruises and hematomas appeared, which seemed to be human skin. End of this chapter Chapter 7 Evil will not exist, life is difficult. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 7 Evil will not exist, life is difficult. People. Bear skin. M.O. Shirley's mind instantly recalled the struggle of the little bear when he saw the crazy woman just now. Immediately, 
my fingertips trembled. Subconsciously, he wanted to inform the middle dot aged man next to him. But, it will definitely give rise to new branches. It will definitely attract unnecessary attention from the other party. His plan it will definitely be affected. Even, directly peeked through. This is something that Emo surely absolutely refuses to comment on. Therefore, when it came to his mouth, Emo surely swallowed it back. He wanted to stop watching that scene, but for some reason, his gaze was fixed on it. The crazy woman lying on the ground continued to murmur, her raised palm gripping ahead time and time again, hanging down time and time again. Ahead, there is only air. But she thought her child was there. She wants to hug her child. But every time it's a failure. It's as empty as ever. Her heart was also empty, and her mind was on the verge of collapse. She became crazy, lying in the sewage murmuring to herself, praying for her son's return. The little bear, pulled away by the juggler with an iron chain, turned back step by step. The chain had already straightened again, and the whip landed on him one after another. With a snap, the juggler was filled with angry rebukes and threats. Rebuke, the little bear can remain indifferent. Threatened, but the little bear trembled all over. Because the other party said, even your mother was killed. The little bear looked at its mother again and was led away. M.O. surely watched. Inexplicably, he thought of his parents who had unfortunately died in the back alley of the small street in order to prevent the robbers from escaping. He thought of his sister who went missing in the huge city, in order to retrieve his parents. M.O. surely twisted his neck slightly unnaturally. Gah! Only he could hear a faint, non-dot-existent sound, with a hint of blood running through his pupils. The bear held by the juggler in the field of vision instantly turned into him, while the crazy woman lying in the sewage turned into his mother and sister. In an instant, a wicked aura rose from the bottom of my heart. Kill. Kill. Kill him. The roar echoed in M.O. Shirley's ear. The previous safety plan was on the verge of collapse amidst roars. The killing intent is boiling and burning like fire. But immediately, he was pushed down by M.O. Shirley. We can't take action. We can't take action. No not taking action makes my heart uneasy. M.O. Shirley's eyes narrowed slightly, his cold gaze fixed on the figure who was leading the bear away in the distance. He didn't immediately take action. Since he has decided to take action, M.O. Shirley has no intention of showing mercy. He must figure out if the other party has any accomplices. If there are cut down the grass and eradicate the root. Otherwise, he will have difficulty sleeping and eating. The most important thing is not to be discovered. M.O. Shirley's heart turned rapidly, thinking about feasible solutions. The other person is carrying a bear, which is really I. catching, and the trail cannot be hidden. If you want to find it, it should be very easy. What needs to be done now is to get rid of the gaze of middle. aged men and their subordinates. These people used to be bodyguards, so they were naturally quite good. But now we can't let these people keep a close eye on us. It's really inconvenient. Thinking to himself, M.O. Shirley's footsteps did not stop, and he walked straight to the entrance of the Yaman in the old city of Chang'an. At the door, there are already people waiting. After seeing M.O. Shirley, he immediately welcomed him down. Yes, young master M.O. The grey cloth Yaman attendant who welcomed him was respectful and courteous, obviously arranged by the middle dot aged man in advance. In fact, it is also the case. After entering the side room of the Yaman, the entire inquiry process was not only polite, but also brought tea to M.O. Shirley. In less than a stick of incense, the whole thing was explained clearly. Young Master Mo, just wait for the letter. We will definitely handle it for you. The Yaman officer patted his chest and promised to send Mo surely away. At this moment, a man resembling a master walked in with a smile on his face. How can you treat Mr. Mo with this kind of tea? Go to my place and get some good tea to bring to Mr. Mo. 
The man with the appearance of the master nodded and left, and in no time came back with a wooden box. The whole process took less than three minutes, while the man with the appearance of the master repeatedly apologized for his impoliteness and other gossip. When he was escorted out of the Yaman gate and received the box containing tea, M.O. surely realized that something was wrong. How much tea can a palm-sized box hold? Up to two liang. But now, why not just buy two liang? Not even a pound. M.O. surely slightly opened the lid of the box, and immediately a touch of silver caught his eye. Silver. The so-dot called tea box contains two silver ingots. Don't be taken aback for a moment. The other party clearly misunderstood something. But it doesn't mean he can make up for his mistakes. More importantly M.O. Shirley looked at the middle dot aged man disguised as a coachman, who still looked like he was nodding and bowing to make a living. Are you going back, young master? I feel a bit frustrated when I think of something. I want to take a walk, so I won't bother you. After M.O. Shirley finished speaking, he casually placed the tea box on the carriage and turned around to leave slowly. He is not someone who does not love wealth. But with the current silver, whoever takes it is a fool. Besides, he has more important things to attend to. Thinking of the crazy woman and the person under the bare skin, M.O. surely persevered without accelerating his pace and walked forward step by step. The middle dot aged man straightened up and looked at M.O. Shirley's back, with a hint of surprise in his eyes. He knows the danger today. M.O. Shirley also knows. The guy who practices bloodthirsty palm is not insane. I was originally planning to lure the other party out today. Meanwhile, test the reactions of certain individuals. To some extent, the latter is far more important than the former. He also took advantage of the situation. But that doesn't mean he can ignore M.O. Shirley's safety. Even if the guy who practices bloodthirsty palm is wary of using it for some reason, M.O. Shirley, who is alone and in danger, is still the last resort. Without his protection, M.O. Shirley would treat that guy like a lamb waiting to be slaughtered. M.O. Shirley is clear about this. But M.O. Shirley still chose to do so, sure enough, do you have a father-son relationship with that uncle? The middle dot aged man recalled the results of his recent investigation and looked at the tea box beside him, and couldn't help but think. There is both emotion and righteousness, and know how to advance and retreat. Not bad M.O. Shirley walked slowly on the streets of the old city of Chang'an. The middle dot aged man disguised as a coachman had already driven away, but M.O. Shirley knew that someone would definitely take over and keep an eye on him to protect his safety. And this will become a crucial part of his plan. He must create a false impression that as long as someone is watching, the attacker will not appear. Only in this way can he get rid of the sight on himself. And this needs to be done step by step. Now, the first step, M.O. Shirley bought two Xiaobing, baked cake and griddle. As he passed by the crazy woman, he gave one of them to the other party. The freshly baked Xiaobing, baked cake and griddle, is steaming hot and crispy with a few sesame seeds on it. M.O. Shirley asked for two more pieces of straw paper to wrap the Xiaobing, baked cake and griddle, and put it in the hands of the crazy woman. At this time, the crazy woman may be tired. She is a bit more stupid than before. She takes Xiaobing, baked cake and griddle, and puts it in her mouth. M.O. Shirley glanced at it and then continued to move forward. The people next to me saw this scene, some were sighing, some were helpless, and more were habits. Walking to a tea stall, M.O. sat down ten miles away. My guest, a big bowl of tea is made of iron and can be refilled with water. The boss greeted M.O. Shirley, while the shop assistant and the boss's son deftly rubbed the table. Give me a bowl of tea. M.O. Shirley said, and took out the remaining Xiaobing, baked cake and griddle. The tea stall does not prohibit guests from taking it out, in fact, everyone at this tea stall is like this. A tea stall is not a tea house, it is not so elegant. Cloth clothes and coolies filled the four tables in the tea stall. That tea is not from the pot, but from a jar standing in front of the tea stand. 
the bottom of the jar catches fire and is filled with water. As soon as the water boils, a handful of tea foam is thrown into it. The aroma is rich and even hotter. Before the cold dissipates, this tea warms the body extremely. In summer, the fire below is turned off, and once the hot tea cools down, it can quench thirst. Especially when encountering kind-hearted shopkeepers, they will throw two yang mei berries into it, which is even more sour and sweet. A large bowl of tea was served, and M.O. took out an iron coin from ten miles away. Small book transactions are not subject to credit. It's all about paying first, there's no reason to pay after drinking. It's like the guests around me, speaking without any taboos about meat and vegetables, but without any bad debts. Except for M.O. Shirley, the people sitting here were clearly familiar and immediately opened their mouths. I don't know how the year is going this year, either. What can we do? Make do with it. Anyway, I'm alone and my whole family is not hungry. Oldly, if you want to get into trouble with Widow Wong, you need to save up a few more. That old lady is not easy to mess with. Go on, go on, talk nonsense. The person known as Lao Li waved his hand in frustration and looked at Mo Shirley sitting across from him, drinking tea and eating cakes. He directly said. It's very kind of you, little brother. Just gave the Chen's and a Xiaobing, baked cake and griddle. Mrs. Chen is also pitiful. She lost her husband in her early years and finally pulled up her child. It seemed like she could come in handy, but she suddenly ran out of people. It's all because of that. Sigh, I won't talk anymore. No need for M.O. Shirley to ask, Li Ba, known as Lao Li, said. Why did M.O. Shirley choose this tea stall? Just when he gave the crazy woman Xiaobing, baked cake and griddle, he noticed Lao Li's helpless but admired eyes. He knew the other party wanted to help, but he was powerless. But precisely because of this, it meets the condition that he will be informed if he does not actively inquire. M.O. Shirley sighed while eating pancakes and said. I just look at that lady pitifully. Such words immediately resonated with Lao Li. Who said it's not? Mrs. Chen is really pitiful, it's all because of that mouse. Old Li. Don't disrespect the grey immortal. Lao Li couldn't resist this time, but halfway through, he was interrupted by his desk mate. But in the words, M.O. Shirley could hear them clearly. Mouse. Grey immortal. M.O. Shirley felt a chill in his heart. P.S. for support, recommendation, and follow. Up reading, end of this chapter. Chapter 8. Livestock Making and Pasting. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 8 Livestock Making and Pasting. How dangerous is the current dungeon world? M.O. surely doesn't know. He can only measure speculation by the standard of rookie trials. In the rookie test, he is a true daifengshu, salad of assorted fresh vegetables, but he is also close to death. It's really close, there's no whole body left. Use this as an inference. The 23rd in front of us. No, to be precise, it's the 24th difficulty dungeon. It's not surprising that any monsters or monsters appear. But encountering immortals so quickly was unexpected for M.O. Shirley. As soon as he thought he was about to face the so dot called immortals, M.O. Shirley felt a chill in his heart, and his cool breath surged above his head. But soon, M.O. Shirley calmed down. He thought of the juggler. Thinking of the other person's actions. Is Sien like this? Is it a bit too bearish? Or is the other party just a peripheral minion? M.O. surely thought to himself, but he calmly listened to the tea guests chatting around him. There are both diverse backgrounds and family backgrounds. This includes the juggler. After all, the jugglers in the old city of Chang'an are also very famous on the streets, and coincidentally, these tea guests are all people making a living on the streets. L. Yu Lao San didn't know what kind of luck he had taken, but he actually learned the traditional method of taming animals and even brought him a little bear. 
he can earn 2 to 300 yuan every day these days. The tea guests surnamed Li are full of envy. The tea customer next to him sneered. Do you believe his nonsense? If it's a hereditary ability, why didn't he use it in the first 30 years? Not even hearing him mention it. He's such a mischievous person, he doesn't have a word of truth. This statement was approved by the tea guests present, and M.O. Shirley asked in response. L. U. Lao San. The method of taming animals. But the juggler just now. It's him. The tea customer surnamed Li immediately nodded and said. L. V. Lao San was originally a lazy and idle person on the street, gathering some like dot-minded people to do things that couldn't be done on the table. It can be said that small things keep happening, and big things don't happen. But three months ago, he suddenly claimed to have learned the family's method of taming animals. Old Li, who was refuted by a group of people around him, seized the opportunity to get rid of embarrassment and spoke to M.O. Shirley in detail. The tea customer on the side couldn't help but interject. God doesn't have eyes. Mrs. Chen is such a kind person. Three months ago, her son went missing and she went crazy herself. On the contrary, it was people like L.V. Lao San who gained wealth and status. Three months ago. M.O. Shirley seized the crucial moment. Afterwards, keep quiet and don't speak again, just listen. In less than fifteen minutes, the image of L.V. Lao San appeared in M.O. Shirley's heart. Eating and lazy, sneaking around. I also enjoy playing with money. I even borrowed money from Mrs. Chen's family before. The first two times Mrs. Chen's family borrowed it, but they still haven't paid it back. Mrs. Chen's family is not wealthy either, so naturally she will not borrow. Even if one is wealthy, they cannot borrow. Helping the urgent but not the poor, gambling dogs are like an abyss, and even the mountains of gold and silver cannot be filled. However, Mrs. Chen's family did not urge Mr. L.V. to repay the debt. Even so, L.V. Lao San still resents the Chen family and has said more than once that he wants to make them look good. It's really not something. M.O. Shirley silently evaluated. As the sun rose, tea drinkers also dispersed in search of work. M.O. Shirley sat up until noon, with a hint of deliberate concern, and greeted a carriage back to Daxing New City. He didn't know where the person staring at him was, but he knew that whether he could successfully get rid of his gaze was extremely important. Therefore, at every moment, M.O. Shirley is fully committed to portraying his predetermined role. Mauer Lane After getting off the carriage, M.O. walked slowly through the alley for ten miles and entered the small courtyard. As soon as he entered the door, he saw a middle-aged man standing in the shadow of the courtyard. Seeing a middle-aged man, Mo's heart is filled with joy. It's done. The other party is not a casual person, it is quite difficult to meet them. In the past half month, except for driving just now, I haven't seen it once. And now, if the other party appears again, it means that the attacker is far more important than he imagined. Simply put, as long as the other party appears, M.O. Shirley is confident in convincing them with the fact that the other party is extremely cautious today. If it weren't for him alone, he wouldn't have taken the bait. Under such circumstances, if this bait is willing to take risks, it would be even more beneficial to the other party without causing any harm. Even if he makes some modest demands, the other party will immediately agree. Unfortunately he is a young man eager to find his uncle. What are the benefits of this? Can I have it? But it will lower the other person's impression score. Compared to those optional things, the impression of the other party is more important. You know, that will affect the future. Thinking from the bottom of his heart, a natural urgency appeared on M.O. Shirley's face. Sir. Tell me inside. The middle-aged man waved his hand and interrupted M.O. Shirley's words, entering the room directly. M.O. Shirley followed into the room, and the middle-aged man had an apologetic expression on his face. Sorry, little brother. We had a bit of a commotion before, 
and that guy was so scared that he couldn't even catch a chance to give him. Sir, I want to try again. Faced with the apology of the middle-aged man, M.O. Shirley immediately said. Hmm. The middle-aged man's heart twitched and he had already guessed something. Your presence, sir, he dares not appear. So, are you guys not here? M.O. Shirley said. Is this too dangerous? Although he had already guessed that M.O. Shirley wanted to say so, the middle-aged man was still surprised when M.O. Shirley said it. My uncle treated me like a son. Now that my uncle has been abducted, what's the point of risking this? M.O. Shiny Eye stood up and clasped his fists as he spoke. The middle-aged man looked at M.O. Shirley's earnest expression and pondered for a moment. Okay. However, be careful in everything. If you find something wrong, ignite it. The middle-aged man finally nodded, but pulled out a fireworks-like signal flare from his sleeve and handed it to Mo Shirley. Thank you, sir. M.O. expressed his gratitude ten miles away, but the middle-aged man waved his hand. No need to thank you. I will have everyone withdraw their hands, you need to be careful. After giving another warning, the middle-aged man stood up and left. As the other person leaves, an achievement appears, acting skills. Your performance is quite good, with some foundation, earning 10 points, hmm. Surprisingly, the same achievement can still appear twice on the same person. Is it due to strength or identity? M.O. was taken aback for a moment, then guessed. At this moment, bursts of footsteps sounded and gradually faded away. The people watching him around have withdrawn. However, M.O. Shirley did not take immediate action, but instead placed the signal flare behind the bedside go to sleep when you're down. There are some things that cannot be rushed. When in a hurry, mistakes can be made. Is it too coincidental that the person we met today had an accident just as we withdrew? Everyone will doubt it. Moreover, M.O. Shirley needs more information. Knowing oneself and the enemy is the key to victory in all battles. So, the next day, M.O. Shirley went to the old town of Chang'an County Yaman again early in the morning to inquire about his uncle's whereabouts. After the inquiry was fruitless, he bought two xiaobing, baked cake and griddle, and went to the tea stand to sit. For five consecutive days afterwards, it was like this. Each time, the two xiaobing, baked cake and griddle, would be given to the crazy woman. The customers of the tea stall gradually became familiar with M.O. Shirley. After learning that M.O. Shirley was running to the county government every day in search of his uncle, Old Lee and other tea customers exclaimed about M.O. Shirley's difficulties, but they became even more enthusiastic about him. Firstly, everyone is suffering from hardship. Second, M.O. Shirley gave Aunt Chen Xiaobing, baked cake and griddle, every day, and everyone saw them. Who can hate a stranger who has encountered misfortune and is able to take care of others? So, all the tea guests were telling M.O. Shirley about the events on the streets of Chang'an Old City in detail, fearing that M.O. Shirley might accidentally provoke someone and cause a big disaster. Especially for mischievous scoundrels like L.V. Lao San, it is particularly important to introduce them. M.O. Shirley gradually gained a thorough understanding of the information about L.V. Lao San and the people around him. On this day, in gratitude for the information provided by the tea guests, M.O. Shirley immediately suggested. Thank you, Uncle Lee. I'll treat you to tea. Farewell now, M.O. Kid. If I dare to ask you to treat me to tea, how many Lao Wang and his companions won't poke my spine? All right, all right. I'm going to work now. See you tomorrow. T customer Lao Li shook his head repeatedly and didn't wait for M.O. Shirley to speak before getting up and leaving. After five days of interaction, Mo Shirley realized that it was not yet time for Lao Li to start working. The reason why he left now was obviously because he was afraid of forcing him to invite him to tea. And after leaving the tea stall, Old Li must go to some alley to squat for a while. Watching Lao Li hurriedly leave, M.O. Shirley couldn't help but smile. But when he looked at another part of the street, his gaze turned cold. 
LV Lao San once again led the little bear out. The other party, as usual, walked the streets with the little bear, and the little bear showed a slight slackness, just a beating. The same rice nurtures a hundred different people. There are both good and bad. Okay, I can't eat enough. Bad, mouth full of oil. A good person scolding a bad person will bring retribution. Bad people are contemptuous. Revenge. Let's wait until the heavens open their eyes. LV Lao San sneered and didn't care at all. Then, he touched the money in his arms, and his smile couldn't be suppressed. Watching the gradually darkening sky, he led the little bear straight back to his own yard. There are three houses in this courtyard. The main house is occupied by LV Lao San, while the house on the east side is occupied by a group of mischievous thugs like him, drinking and making money every day. Has third brother returned? Play with it. Listening to the sound of the courtyard door, a head protruded from the east room, with slanted eyebrows and crooked eyes, and a dog skin ointment on one side of the temple. I'll be busy with the main business for now. Are the goods in the Westinghouse okay? Upon hearing these words, L. V. Lausanne's hands itched uncontrollably, but he still hadn't forgotten the main matter. It's okay. Brothers, everyone is watching. The mischievous person in the East Room answered, but L. V. Lausan still felt uneasy. He walked to the West Room and looked inside through the window. Only seeing, four children with their hands and feet tied and their mouths blocked are in the house. The tears on the children's faces were still lingering, and they saw L. V. Lausan sobbing in fear one by one, moving his body backwards. Hey, little ones, everyone is fine. Grandpa's prosperity and prosperity in the latter half of his life depend on you. L. U. Lao San turned around with a smile, tied the little bear to a wooden stake in the courtyard, and directly threw the rice mixed with medicine in front of the other party. This bear is a treasure. If it weren't for this bear, how could he attract people to watch, and how could his subordinates take advantage of the chaos to kidnap children? Therefore, it cannot really hurt, let alone attract unnecessary attention. So, medication has become the first choice. Humming a tune, L. V. Lao San returned to the room. First, put the urn copper into the money box, and then pull out a piece of paper from the bottom of the money box. Paper is grass paper. It is filled with various messy words that cannot be called words. L. V. Lao San was holding a piece of charcoal and writing and painting on it. These four are the third batch, each worth five tails of silver. Even with the previous ones, I have 40.5 tails of silver now. When it reaches 100. No, 200 tails, I'll wash my hands in gold. L.V. Lao San muttered to himself while writing and drawing. As soon as he thought of the good future, L.V. Lao San couldn't help but laugh. Then, packing up his things, he grabbed a handful of iron and went out to the East Room. The already bustling East Room has become even more lively. There is not only the flattery of the mischievous people, but also the generosity of L.V. Lao San. One iron after another was thrown out, and suddenly received a lot of cheers. Amidst the cheers, L.V. Lao San was even more at the forefront. He likes the feeling of being held up by people immediately became more and more generous. Come on, fill up the wine. A jar of wine was opened by L. V. Lao San. Several mischievous people around toasted L. V. Lao San. The atmosphere here became even more lively, and no one noticed a black shadow climbing over the wall and entering the yard. The little bear saw it and instinctively wanted to bark. But the medicine came up, only sobbing twice and unable to move. He could only watch the masked black figure carrying a bundle onto the roof of the East Room. Then, he untied the burden on his back. When he saw clearly what was inside the package, the Chen family elder dressed in bare skin was taken aback. That's a ball of yellow mud mixed with straw. He widened his eyes and watched as the black figure pasted the chimney of the Eastern House with yellow mud mixed with straw. Gradually, the bustling East Room became silent. P.S. Phi Long, seek support, 
recommendation, and follow. Up reading, end of this chapter. Chapter 9 Cutting the Grass You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 9 Cutting the Grass The moon is dark, and the wind is high. Mas de Mo surely descended from the eaves and stood firmly on the ground. He glanced at the drowsy little bear without paying much attention. These days, he had already figured out the situation and knew that the little bear had to be drugged every night. Counting time silently in my heart. Pinching it, in the thirteenth or fourteenth minute, when the coal smoke was about to die, the door to the east side of the house was pushed open. Gambling equipment and wine bowls were scattered inside the house, and the four mischievous people attached to L. V. Laosan were lying on the Kong in all directions, while L. V. Laosan was prominently lying alone on one side. M. O. Shirley dragged L. V. Laosan out, turned around, and closed the door again. After confirming that the seams were tightly sealed and not breathable, L. V. Laosan was tied up and dragged into the main room. Immediately, the dagger in his hand pierced into L. V. Laosan's thigh. Puff. Ah! Amidst the sound of flesh and blood cutting, Lu Lao San, who was in a coma, instantly regained consciousness, but his painful moans came to an abrupt end. A blood stained dagger pressed against Lu Lao San's choked throat. Looking at Emo Shirley, who was wearing a mask and holding a dagger, L. V. Lao San quickly shouted Brave man, spare your life! Brave man, spare your life! The money is all in the box, right on the square table, the innermost one. If you want, take it yourself. I absolutely dare not say more. Before M. O. Shirley could speak, L. V. Laosan kept talking. Where's the child? M. O. Shirley asked in a deep voice. Westinghouse, it's all in Westinghouse. L. V. Laosan quickly said. What about the previous one? M. O. Shirley continued to ask, before. The hero said something, but I don't know. Ah ah ah. L. U. Laosan's eyes were spinning wildly. When he talked about him, M. O. Shirley's dagger directly penetrated the other person's thigh, still the same wound as before. However, it was only then that the wound was scratched even larger, and blood was flowing profusely. These days, the situation that M. O. Shirley has found out clearly includes the conclusive information of losing 20.6 children. Facing L. V. Laosan who still wants to deny him, M. O. Shirley naturally won't be polite. It's all handed over to Zheng Qianxian. It's Zheng Qianxian from the Zheng family pawn shop. I gave him all five of the previous ones. The previous five. There are four in the West House. The remaining 17 children is there anyone else who works as a pawn shop for the Zheng family? M. O. Shirley squinted his eyes. The Zheng family pawn shop, he had heard from old Li that the boss was mean and would not say anything when he lowered the price. When it comes to real difficulties, even a high dot quality leather coat can tell you that adults eat rats, bare boards have no hair, and tattered clothes. In addition, having a group of thugs, if you bring good things into the door and don't leave them behind, it will be even more difficult to come up with than reaching the sky. As for reporting to the authorities. The son of the pawn shop owner of the Zheng family works as a messenger at the entrance of the Yaman. If you go to report to the official, you need to take off another layer of skin. In short, people who hate gods and ghosts are privately referred to as Zheng Pippi. However, such a person and a mischievous person like L. V. Lao San are a perfect match. From time to time, the other party needs L. V. Lao San to inquire about information and collaborate to generate revenue. So, when L. V. Lao San said Jing Qian Xian, M. O. Shirley believed it, but not all of it. Therefore, M. O. Shirley gave L. V. Lao San another chance. It's still that wound. This time, the cut is even bigger. Blood has flowed more. Ah! L. U. Lao San was about to howl when M. O. Shirley raised his hand and blocked the other person's mouth with a piece of cloth. Then, he gave the other person a dagger. After this time, the wound was already deeply visible with bones. Then, M. O. Shirley pulled out the rags. 
El Yu Lao San learned well and didn't howl anymore. Hero, spare my life, what I say is true. The pain is killing me. LV Lao San repeatedly begged for mercy, but Mo Shirley immediately pursued him repeatedly. The answer is, as before, to confirm that what the other person said is true. Mo Shirley's eyes sparkled with cold light. LV Lao San began to beg for mercy again. I've told you, hero, I really didn't lie. Um. The plea for mercy came to an abrupt end. M.O. Shirley's dagger slashed through L.V. Lausan's throat, causing his eyes to open wide. Before the blood spurted out, M.O. Shirley had already collected the opponent's body into the space grid where the Chinkuan ring stacked the body. After a thorough search inside the house and finding nothing more valuable, it was only then that the silver, copper, and iron in L.V. Lausan's money box were also received into the Chinkuan ring. For money, the Qianquan ring is assumed to be of the same category, so even silver, copper, and iron can be stacked together. Leaving the main house, head straight for the house on the east side. The mischievous people in the room have long lost their breath. One by one, along with the coins on the gambling table, M.O. Shirley received the Qianquan ring in the same way. After finishing all of this, M.O. Shirley walked slowly towards the west room. Bang! With one kick, the door was kicked open. The four children inside were trembling with fear. Watching the four children struggling in fear, M.O. Shirley raised his fingers and made a silent gesture. After seeing all four children nod, he untied them and pulled out the rags from his mouth. At the same time, he whispered, I was sent by, Grey Immortal, to save you. Remember. After speaking, M.O. turned around ten miles and left. Except for L.V. Lao San and others, the most information we have gathered in the past five days is the Grey Immortal. I don't know when the rumor of Grey Immortal spread on the nearby streets. Some say that Grey Immortal can calculate things accurately. Some say that Grey Immortal can seek good fortune and avoid misfortune. Some people say that Grey Immortal can attract wealth and treasure. Everyone says they have a nose and eyes, but when asked in detail, no one can say why. However, previously, Grey Immortal had been rumored to be neutral and kind. hearted. The act of taking away children like this is the first time. So, this became the best excuse for M.O. Shirley. The one who saves people is the Grey Immortal, not M.O. Shirley. As for L.V. Lao San and others. Doing evil in the name of Grey Immortal is naturally punished. After leaving the house on the west side, M.O. Shirley cut open a piece of the fallen bear skin and exposed the Chin family's elder brother inside. After confirming that someone could easily understand that it was a person wearing animal skin, he climbed over the wall and left the yard. At the same time, words appeared before M.O. Shirley's eyes, achievements. Skilled, blue, helping the weak, blue, technician. The means of killing are not only brute force, but also brain, earning 100 points and 1 skill point, helping the weak. This is a commendable character, as it has been since ancient times, earning 100 points and 1 skill point, 200 points, 2 skill points. Don't be taken aback for a moment. When preparing to take down LV Lao San and his group, M.O. surely guessed that there would be achievements, but to his surprise, there would be two achievements, both of which were blue. Immediately, M.O. surely changed his original plan of staying overnight under the walls of the old city of Chang'an, waiting for the follow. Up. He chose to study Gecko Wall Skill. Consume two skill points and learn the martial arts skill, Gecko Wall Skill, Gecko Wall Climbing Skill, Beginner. Gecko Wall Climbing Skill is unique and you can patiently learn it from top to bottom, left and right. After completing the skill, your body is as light as ants, and it is effortless to swim around buildings. As a beginner, you can easily climb walls with your elbows and heels. As with the previous, fist power, the entry dot level, gecko wall skill requires two skill points. However, when the information is synchronized with the body, 
M.O. Shirley can clearly feel that his muscles all over his body become stronger, especially his arms and calves. Especially when running, it's even more lightweight. It's like having springs installed on the soles of your feet. Feeling this change, M.O. Shirley immediately gained another bit of confidence. He, immediately, goes straight to the Jing family pawn shop. P.S. Fai Long continues to seek support seeking recommendation by the way, I would like to recommend a friend's book, Dragon Clan. I am forced to slay the dragon after failing the science and technology comprehensive examination, end of this chapter. Chapter 10. Rooting Out. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10 Rooting Out. Chang'an Old City, Jing Family Pawn Shop. The earliest Jing Family Pawn Shop was just a small storefront facing the street. After three generations of efforts, the Jing Family Pawn Shop not only bought the yard behind the shop, but also the storefronts on both sides and the yard behind it, forming a series of large courtyards. Naturally, the counters in the pawn shop were getting taller and taller. People who come to pawn have to hold things high above their heads to reach the counter. M.O. Shirley stood in the shadow of the wall corner, looking towards the pawn shop of the Jing family, don't be fooled, don't be fooled. And turn dead money into live money. The wooden and gold couplets are exceptionally prominent. Looking upwards, one can see the four big characters Jing family pawn shop. And the most I dot catching one is the large, dang, characters written in black on the walls that have been painted to a pale finish on both sides. Each word is the size of a basket, and looking at it in the dark, it feels like two cannibalistic jackals crouching there, staring at you. It makes people feel nervous when they see it. Inside the door, there is a different scene, with towering shadow walls and a hundred blessings chart engraved on them. The hanging flower gate is slightly open, and two large lanterns illuminate the surroundings. By candlelight, one can vaguely see the winding Shoa Show corridor and a corner of the lotus pond. Mr. L.V. walked out of the inner courtyard with his hands behind his back. Butler L.V. The two servants guarding the courtyard outside the hanging flower gate quickly said hello. Take good care of it. Mr. L.V., known as the butler, carried his hands behind his back and walked along the hanging flower gate towards the inverted clock room, without even looking at the two servants guarding the courtyard. What is the original name of Mr. L.V.? No one knows about the guardians of the Zheng family, only that Mr. L.V. is an elderly member of the Zheng family who is still related to his family. In his early years, he defected to the Zheng family and directly became the butler. Except for the inner courtyard, the shop, and the servants, this butler L.V. can handle everything with his own hands. Therefore, both servants and servants were licking the steward L.V. When Mr. L.V. walked away, a servant couldn't help but curse. Humph, bah! Isn't it just good luck, having connections with the master, what are you proud of? The other one also nodded in agreement. That's it. Last time, Widow Lou's matter was messed up. If it weren't for our grandfather's benevolence and righteousness, he would have been kicked out of the mansion long ago. Widow Lu. The first servant was taken aback, with a curious expression on his face. You don't know. I'll tell you, Widow Lu came to our shop to support her three-dot-year-dot-old son, so she naturally had to keep the things. The man was also favored by the master, so he asked Mr. L.V. to bring him back. As a result. What was the result? Listening to the infatuated servant hurriedly urging. Can urge for half a day without seeing any response. Subconsciously looking up, I realized that a masked person was standing in front of me, and my companion on duty with him had long been missing. Almost instinctively, this servant would open his mouth and shout out. But as soon as the other person's mouth opened, a dagger stabbed straight into their mouth, and after stirring it up, it cut through their cheek and pierced their neck. Suddenly, the blood vessels in the throat were cut open. After the corpse was also included in the Chinkuan ring, M.O. Shirley shook the blood on his dagger, squinted his eyes, looked at the inverted clock room, and quietly followed suit. He knows about the matter of Widow Lu. At the tea stall, 
I heard from Lao Li that he died of illness six months ago, leaving behind a three-year-old child who fell off the bed and knocked his head, and also died. Although there are rumors in the community that this matter is related to the Jing family, no one has any evidence. In the end, the surrounding neighbors gathered together, made a thin wooden coffin, and buried the mother and son outside the city. I used to guess, there was no evidence. Now there is concrete evidence. M.O. Shirley, who had already set out to kill, was even more ruthless and wiped the neck of the first servant. Next, it's the second one. And now, it's Mr. L.V. According to Lao Li, Mr. L.V. is notorious for his prowess, and there are rumors that he once killed seven or eight people alive. I was also wanted by the government back then, but later it was abandoned due to chaos and chaos. We need to hit hard. M.O. Shirley thought silently. And without realizing it, Mr. L.V. walked towards his room with his hands behind his back. While walking, this butler L.V. pondered. Compared to those guys, L.V. San's handling of affairs is relatively efficient, but the asking price is too high. Five tails of silver for a child, how could it be so expensive? In the year of disaster, giving them a meal would make those muddy legs grateful. We need to lower the price to make the master happy and happy. Mr. L.V. was able to notice the previous incident with Widow Lu, which made his own master somewhat dissatisfied with him. Although it was not explicitly stated, I was unable to stay and serve during tonight's discussion. This is the signal. He didn't expect that Widow Lu had such a strong temper that she really dared to bump into the wall. And that little brat, he didn't put in any effort, but he just fell and died like that. Damn it. Causing him to have a grudge against his own master. Damn it. Mr. L.V. shuddered at the thought of his position as a butler and even being expelled from the mansion due to a rift with his own master. Although he had killed two people for lending money in his early years and wandered around the world for a period of time, he was used to comfortable life in the Jing family and had already fully adapted to this kind of enjoyable life. Without the protection of the Jing family, he continued to wander in the world, living in the wind, eating, and sleeping outdoors, which was even more uncomfortable than killing him. Therefore, it is necessary to fill this gap. Of course, L.V. Lao San would be dissatisfied. But Mr. L.V. is not afraid. A street thug, if it weren't for both surnamed L.V. and the other party licking his face and calling him uncle, would it be his turn to be L.V. San? Press down to one or two. One or two is quite a lot. Without these two beautiful words from me, could L.V. San earn this money? Mr. L.V. thought to himself that he would push the door into the house. Then, I felt a tremendous force coming from my back. Bang! With a muffled sound, Mr. L.V. felt that his bones and internal organs were about to break, followed by, poo 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 poo. M.O. Shirley crushed Mr. L.V. to the ground, tightly covering his mouth. The dagger in his hand stabbed Mr. L.V.'s ribs again and again. The powerful punch had already made Mr. L.V. lose his resistance. At this moment, he could only feel the pain of the dagger piercing into his body time and time again, and could only hear the sound of metal cutting his own flesh and blood. This made Mr. L.V. even more frightened. But he was powerless to struggle. Even unable to lift their hands. After a few breaths, Mr. L.V.'s eyes dimmed and his breath was completely gone. M.O. Shirley collected the body and frowned slightly. Amazing. Is that all? Then he shook his head. M.O. Shirley understands in his heart. Firstly, the rumors have been biased and exaggerated. Secondly, after learning fist power and gecko wall swimming skill, his strength can be described as advancing by leaps and bounds. The combination of the two led to the situation where Mr. L.V. was killed in one blow. Fortunately, we solved the night watchman first, otherwise we would have been alarmed. M.O. Shirley glanced at the motionless clock room. Except for the night guard, all the remaining guards of the Jing family are here. With a grasp of the dagger in his hand, M.O. Shirley quietly touched it inside. When M.O. Shirley came out again, 
there were five more corpses inside the Chinkuan ring. Subsequently, M.O. Shirley checked the surroundings again and confirmed that there were no issues before passing through the hanging flower gate and entering the inner courtyard. M.O. Shirley saw the study with lights still on. He leaned over carefully and as soon as he arrived under the window, he heard bursts of conversation and conversation, the helmsman has been looking for the two guests' uncles and nephews for over half a month, why haven't they come back yet? P.S. Fialong seek support, recommendations, and monthly tickets, end of this chapter.